Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson from Break Designs here again and welcome to a new video. Now this video tutorial is all about creating a vintage text effect in Illustrator and then you can import it into Photoshop and do as you please with it. Um, it's basically just uh, an effect that you can put on and then you warp it slightly on Illustrator but a lot of people don't know how to do this and I worked out how to do it and I thought I'd uh, come and give you a bit of a share and just cracked my neck a bit, that's not nice at all, sorry about that. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into a new document on Illustrator, um, we'll call it whatever, I'm going to make it 500 by 500, just to make it so you guys can understand it, um, so just 500 by 500, whatever you want to do, I'm just going to create, uh, I'm going to create a black background I think. So at the moment, I don't want a stroke, I just want a black fill. So I've taken the stroke off by uh, pressing X and then coming up to the swatches panel here. And then I'm gonna press M to get my marquee tool to uh, create a shape, a background shape here. That's not a full black, so we're gonna go change this to a global swatch. Double click on that swatch to change its values. And because it's not fully black, we need to change the uh, CMYK values. We'll preview it to make it fully black so you can see that it's got a mix of all these different colors here, 50, 50, 50, and 100% key to make it full on black. That's how we get the black. I'm gonna lock that and call this uh, BG for background, create a new layer, pressing on this new layer icon. I'm just gonna call this text here. And then I'm gonna press T and just type in, um, again, I'm just gonna type in vintage, I think. And then press shift, so I know command and enter to get rid of that. And then I'm gonna bring this right up by pressing shift and alt on the keyboard and scaling up. And then I'm gonna just put it into the center by going up to these bits here and pressing on the vertical and the horizontal align. And then that should be all good there. Now we need to change the fill, so make sure you're on your fill swatch here uh, and then change it to white. And then I'm gonna change the, um, the character or the font. And I'm gonna do this by pressing Command T, even though I could go up here, but on here you can see the actual uh, preview of what the font looks like, it makes it easier. I'm gonna go type in Abraham, because I like that. And then I'm gonna make sure it's on uh, all caps, pressing that, and then it'll bring us into an all caps thing there. Again, I'm just gonna um, align it, and then I'm gonna scale it and align it. This is just so you guys can see. Press Command T to get rid of your character menu. And we're all good. So that is the text we've got there, but we need to make sure we have this sort of effect going on with it. It might not look just like that, so I might just put blessing. It works um, It works well with large writing and stuff. So the best way to do this is by going highlighting it and going up to Effect, Warp, and then I'm gonna choose, I can't remember which one it is, uh, but I'm gonna choose Arc for now, but we can change the style here in this Warp Options box. Press Preview so we know what we're doing. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and work out which one it is. Because I think it is the vertical lower one. Just like, so, yeah, so the vert arc lower. Then we're just gonna go into the minuses until we get this sort of groove shape here. Just like so, so at the bottom it's arcing inwards like so. And we'll press, we'll make sure we can use the dialog box by pressing up and down to give it a more accurate feel. And we'll press uh, okay, but we're pressing enter and then we have it. There's part of the text effect now What we need to do is you need to make this uh, more prominent uh, like in here we need to make the whole thing more prominent and we're going to go ahead and Hopefully if it works, we're going to choose the envelope option here. So we're gonna go into Oops, we're gonna go up here in this little box here It will have this little mesh box here and it says make envelope but we're gonna go, we're gonna go make with mesh. Preview that, and we're gonna go okay. And then with the mesh now, what that means we can do is we can analyze this more. We can do more with it. So up here we have the envelope mesh, and here's a weird um, sort of menu icons we have. Up here it's totally changed. We can choose the columns of how many envelope meshes we want, uh, rows, and we can change whether we look at the content and edit the content or the mesh itself, which is called an envelope. So it's like enveloped all. So it's a bit different uh, than the standard sort of changing the text. So this is gonna make it really easy. So what we're gonna do is compress our direct selection tool, which is A, or you can come just below um, the selection tool and click it there. And then I'm gonna to go to these uh, three points here and select them. And then I'm gonna select 
these three points as well and I'm going to bring them both down a bit and that is too much way too much so we're just going to bring that down very slightly see how that looks I mean it looks okay bring it up slightly again bring it up slightly so it comes inside and then what we can do as well is we can go ahead and edit a lot of this by clicking and shift clicking on them and moving them I'm going to move these up slightly it's about getting the feeling that you want um, so as you can see here it's got a massive curvature to it but the straight line is straight at the top you can even do this to another piece of writing um, so if we were to just create another piece like here just hide that and then reset the envelope um, and then edit the contents and then we could even just go on to type in something different and it's still editable we can still go classic and it'll still have the same envelope with it or the same content with it and we can go ahead and change that and the effect I don't think is there anymore because oh no it's still there if you just double click ah so there we go so the classic effect is still here it's still in there but you have to go into your appearance panel if you don't have appearance you just go to window and uh, go to your appearance bit here and you'll see that in the classic if we just hover over this we'll have an envelope just click double cl uh, click on content and you'll be able to change your warp so we're just gonna go ahead and choose warp upper and preview that and it'll do the exact same it'll just warp the upper part of that I'm going to change the text to blessing again change the upper part of that make sure they're both in the center like so hopefully we can get them both in the center and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, edit this as well so I'm going to go ahead and press the envelope mesh which should already be there and then click here shift click over here on these three and then move this mesh up very slightly it's a bit too much so very slightly and then you can go ahead and edit the, the middle parts if you want or you can just go absolutely crazy with it if you so desire and then you can go ahead press on these go back into there and we have some vintage text effect right there group them together you can outline them and expand them and then you've got everything you want there in your text effect which is pretty cool so that is how you do the text effect um, everything else uh, I don't know if you already know how to do that but leave a comment in the description if you want to hear or learn any more about this sort of text effect or what I'm doing on this poster when this poster is finished you'll be able to buy it online and three pounds of this poster when you purchase it goes to a charity called Ratanak that prevents child prostitution in Cambodia and any sort of poster on my website does that as well you can go to www.prophesyapparel.co.uk and you can purchase one on there um, and also you can become a Patreon uh, I'll have a link in the description to show you where you can do it to help me um, bring out more videos like this and to help me uh, make more cool things like this for you to buy and to learn from so thanks so much for watching guys make sure you subscribe if you like the video follow me on twitter all that jazz um, like me on facebook well don't like me on facebook become a friend of me on facebook if you want uh, and yeah so thanks for watching and stick around for some more tutorials that will be coming i hope you've had a good day see you later